little better. I shot some footage at Test and Tune, which was on 420, and this YZ wasn't acting quite right. So today we're going to ride it and I'll explain what's going on with it. That's what today's video is about. So the gist of it is, we're trying to figure this out. And I don't know if it's bad crank seals or just the bike being cold. But the hill climbing, I need to figure out why, you know, what the magic thing is because you don't get to go ride it around and then hit the hill. I mean, you're sitting in a line. So when I was at testing tune, Looked like every mosquito in the county was gonna be dead. Or it's being cold. But the hill can't figure out and what the matter is because you ride it or hit the hill. You know. So I'm warming this up gently and I'm gonna take it around. I gotta see maybe if I can keep it hot. Cause it seems to still run fine, but it, then it did start making an additional engine noise. Like the crank's out of it, but if the crank was out of it, I don't think it'd be running as well as it does still. So that's what we're messing with today. So, so far I'm on at least a minute, maybe two of idling and it's, you can see it's good and loaded up. So I'm gonna try to warm it up gently. I'm just, like I said, I'm just trying to figure out the magic way to be able to run this at the hill climbs without trail riding it first. Or how I can, you know, what I have to do to warm it up without loading it up. There you go, a couple hundred yards in. Still pretty, pretty smoky. See, in this, so now I'm about, oh, I don't know, half a mile, quarter mile in. And I'm still smoking too much. But, am I? I just don't want it to be blown crank seals. That's a heck of a vibration. But I'll bet you I'm gonna rip on this now and I'll bet you that clears up. Something is vibrating like a muv down there, though. Dug a hole. Foot peg smasher. I'm gonna go down. Maybe I just have to get it warmer. Yeah. <laughs> 
So what had happened is, like I said, she was loading up pretty good. And forgive, one thing I keep forgetting to mention, the footage in this video is from several cell phones and it's uh, vertical and I cropped it horizontal. So the blurriness is there. I tried my best. Yeah, she's still smoking. Yeah, engine mount loose or a crank loose. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, I finally made it. I went over this rock though. Oh, and it ball tagged me. All right, let's clean this up. I'm amped on that. I don't even care this is laying on the side. I probably caved the pipe in. This bike was smoking a lot. Dad made it to the second breaker. I'll put that clip in now. Smoking like a pig. So I hit it on the 450, crashed on the first run. Then I hit it again, you know, about an hour later and For the first time for me, jumped the second breaker, which I haven't done yet. So for me, it was a win, even though it wasn't a fast run. I'm on this off camber hill. See if I can get off of it without sliding down it. Nah. Oh. Guess we're riding down the hill.
rough. <laughs> Jumping to second breaker, once on the 450. After I crashed once and then said, I gotta ride this 250, see what's going on. Jumped the second breaker on it. But as you can see, it bounced me and kind of flipped her down. So now we conquered it. I did it. I got to do it again to count, I think. And I got to miss that rock ledge I was trying to kick. Attempt two. Stay to the left a little more. So once you get up here, I don't really have a good plan yet. I mowed into this tree. Maybe I could work on an out route. Hooked on my shifter. Good God. That was it again. Need to like come up and over. How my bike standing. The good news is, being this way, I should be able to get out. <sighs> Let's see though. <laughs> Leaning Tower of Baika. Oh, no way. <laughs> Come back. It's in neutral. <clears throat> Fudge. That's all I'm hitting it is twice. Anyway. Uh, in conclusion, I still don't know how this bike will do not letting it get warmed up right and actually riding it around. But it's working great for a free ride bike. It just seems lighter. Like my 450s, I don't know. My 450s great. And I can't wait to hill climb it, but this one seems like easier to throw around and I'm less scared to like chuck it up a hill. Or huck it is like a mountain biker would say. And it's still making a god awful bottom end noise. I have no idea what that is. It might blow up. I, I don't know. It seems to be running good though. Anyway, got her number. Next day went to Chicken Filet, someplace in the mall. Uh, no. <laughs> the rest of this video is gonna be footage, well, more footage from Test and Tune. 
looking forward to the hill climb season, but I still didn't really resolve if this is going to be okay to run at Beaverdale and stuff. It has potential, but it's it doesn't always take its act right pills. So, hey, maybe if you know without telling me, com like the normal stuff, like oh, it's this mixture or you need to do this. Remember, I'm running Electron. It runs great once it's warmed up, but it's smoking like crazy. I'm not losing tranny fluid. Well, enough to be concerned about. So maybe it is just sucking a little bit when it's cold and the seal is going bad. And now, like I said, she vibrates more. So, hey, but if you have an idea, go ahead and let me know. I, I do know a good bit about stuff and things but i'm not a big four stroke i haven't owned but a couple of them so maybe someone could go yep yeah, my yz did that a month before it exploded it grenaded so all right thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of this footage from beaverdale's uh, beaverdale's testing tune on 420 2024. the old man, 69 years old. Stay back at that set and just let it let it do this. Well,